Hello, this is uh, Miguel with uh, another tutorial. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make uh, bullet holes with using Photoshop. I am going to current. I am currently uh, using Photoshop CS2, so I don't know exactly how it is in the other versions, but you can see. Go to Photoshopping Help er, dot Weebly dot com to view other tutorials or read about them in the text versions. Here I'm going to show you today. First, you click New, and then. You can have it at whatever preference you want. It doesn't matter what size it is, just as long as it's a big one. The bigger it is, the bigger the bullet hole is going to be. So I'm going to save it as not like that. So I do this, I'm going to click the rectangle tool right here. And I'm going to make sure that it's on fill pixels and the color is white. So we're going to make this square, or this rectangle, right here, like that, as you can see here. Then we're going to go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. And you're going to make it make sure it does it from, from the right, so uh, it goes off of the picture. Or actually, sorry, it should go to the other way. So it should be from the left. And then it'll show you the win. And then you just repeat this process one, two times. Or more, whatever times you need to do it. And as, as you can see there, now you're going to go to Image, Adjustments. And then you can, or actually, whoops, Rotate Canvas. Then you go to 90% Clockwise. Now see, as you can see, it's tipped over. Now you click filter, distort, polar coordinates, rectangular to polar. Not polar to rectangular, rectangular to polar. It's the first selection. Click OK, and you'll get something like this. Now go to image. Now you go to adjustments, and then go to invert or control I, which one of the two you want to use, and click invert. And as you invert it here, now you can see it's basically like a hole. Now, if you wanted to add details to this, you could. So I'm going to show you what you have to do. Click on the magic wand tool, and click outside the outside the picture. I'll just click right here. And then right-click it, and click Select Inverse. And you select that. So, Edit, Copy, or Control-C. And then, Edit, Paste. And then you have a new version here, I'll show you. And it's a new another version of it. And you know what we're gonna do? Make this into a into a regular layer so I can delete it. We're gonna delete this layer. Right here, delete layer. Yes, and now this one's our new background. Now all you're gonna do is duplicate this layer. And then you have several other bullet holes. And then you go to duplicate this layer. I'm oh, sorry. Duplicate this layer. And then you have another bullet hole. So you can pretty much add as many as you want. And I'll show you how to make extra details to it. Say we want to add more depth to it. Depth. We inner shadow. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. As you can see right here more depth to it and depth to it click OK and then it looks more like a bullet hole or like shattered glass whatever you want to call it and then we do a drop shadow to make it more realistic as you can see and then you have one well, like a real good finished bullet hole and then you can keep those bullet holes or you want to use the depth one well that's another tutorial from uh photoshopping help and i want to tell you again to go to photoshopping helper weebly dot com check out the tutorials and uh... hope you enjoyed this tutorial so subscribe to our youtube and hope you have a nice day uh... i'm out of here right about now